Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is lookup transformation properties. In lookup transformation there are several properties available and today we are going to see a lookup policy on multiple match. What is the purpose of this? For example, if we are having one table, say a department table, in the department table is going to be used as the lookup table. In the table, if it contains more than one row, for example, uh, I'm showing you now, and I have created one table called department underscore one, as I don't want to disturb the existing department table, I have created uh, one table like this. In this table, I inserted the uh, rows in this order. Uh, it has got around five rows, and the, the department number 10 is repeated twice. That means it is got duplicated. How we are going to handle this duplicate rows? That means if, if the record comes more than once, how we are going to handle the situation? That is the thing we are going to see now. And here already I have created one map. Uh, again I will create the lookup part and source and target uh, I, I assume that you already know how to create it there is no need to tell again and again so I am just uh, leaving it just directly going to the lookup transformation here is the lookup transformation icon is there you have to click like this and open it and you have to click the source because uh, in the source only we are going to select the table and department underscore one you have to select it click OK it, it will appear like this and we have to change the name first I am going to give LKP underscore DPT and then in ports we have to delete this one and we have to add one more port ok then you have to add the condition now everything is ok and then we have to link this department number to this one and this department number to this and this department name to this ok and we have to create that uh, make sure that the target table tgt emp underscore lkp is already created in the oracle and already have created it ok and this is the target table and it should contain the department number and department in the two columns should we should add because we are passing the department number and we are getting the department name already that data is available make sure that data should not be that target should always be empty then only we can load the data so I am just deleting it now and committing it and make sure that the target is empty ok now I am going to get the workflow the workflow is already created by me it is very easy to create go and uh, click this and you can create the workflow and you have to create one session task and make sure the session task is linked to the start task by using this link task and you have to set the properties over here the connection properties need to set and in target make sure that target load type is normal and insert should be clicked as we are going to run this job several times uh, it is better uh, to click the truncate truncate option because uh, as we are going to check for first value last value and I will show that uh, lookup transformation property what we are going to do now and uh, better check this option so that we can test uh, more than once ok in lookup transformation there is the property called lookup policy on multiple match what is the purpose of this means what did I told if it is multiple uh, uh, records coming with the same uh, number the department number then we have to handle this situation here use any value is there use first value use last value and report error first we are going to test this use first value what is going to happen now we will see okay 
don't forget to refresh the map as you have changed it that icon will come and uh, now start the workflow that will be what is going to happen so now it's running ok 16 rows and loaded in the target ok 10 it if you want to make sure that how the query has got worked you can check the session log here is the session log available and uh, go to the lookup transformation here the query has got generated by the lookup transformation you can paste this query over here and you can check it It is ordered by department number and department name. So they took the first value accounting. Accounting department and uh, for the department number 10. It took this value actually. Okay. Now we are going to check for the last value. Now we are going to change the lookup policy on multiple match to use last value. What is going to happen we will see now. and as I have already clicked this truncate option there is no need to delete the target data every time uh, so what will happen if the target contains the data it will truncate it and then it will load the fresh data so you can directly start the workflow okay you can go on monitor in the workflow monitor it has got succeeded quickly okay now we can check this Okay, it took the last value that's accounting one already we have checked this by using this query select d name come on, department number from department the first value is accounting and second value the last value is accounting underscore one now it took the last value mm, i think you may understand this so it, it took the last value okay initially it took the accounting now it took the accounting underscore one now again there is one more option that is a report error we have changed it and again we are uh, refreshing it which will throw the error multiple match found in lookup that means it won't allow you to run the program it will simply throw the error and one more thing is one more property value is there and that is use any value that means it can take any value but normally what happens is if you use any value it takes only the integration service returns the first value only why means it creates an index based on the key ports instead of all lookup transformation ports that is the main reason so it always takes the integration service service returns the first value that matches the lookup condition ok based on the index it will decide this is the way how to handle the, the multiple match for the lookup transformation thanks bye